In the Mighty Ducks trilogy, the main character Gordon Bombay becomes a father figure to the secondary main character Charlie Conway, while also learning what it means to be a part of a family. For those who haven't watched this, Charlie is the captain of the hockey team who is a bit naive and a jock. He is your typical high school athlete who falls in love with the team and the coach. Throughout all three films, there is a standard sports drama. However, this is mixed with a family drama and family comedy. The series seems to have started as a family drama and moved into a family comedy, while still maintaining the set family sports genre in the process. In the first movie, the story is geared towards family, with Bombay taking on a fatherly role to Charlie, the main character. At first, this relationship fails to succeed, but after he comes back and apologizes for how he treated him and the team, Charlie warms up to him. Take your best shot. I believe in you, Charlie. Win or lose. Thanks, Coach. Go get him. Did y'all enjoy that? In the second movie, the theme of family is still present as the team has learned to work together in one mind. Well, if we can't beat him, we might as well keep our pride. Yeah. Jesse, that's not pride. Sure, when Dwayne roped that big oaf, part of me cheered. But guys, I've been there. I know how you feel. I wanted to cream that jerk that busted my knee when I played in the minors. And I really, really wanted to go after Stanson for that cheap shot. But you know what? My knee will heal. And if I become someone I'm not, if I sink to their level, well, then I've lost more than my knee. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Ducks fly together, as Bombay says in an inspirational speech. We're not goons. We're not bullies. No matter what people say or do, we have to be ourselves. You. Who are you? Dean Portman. From where? Chicago, Illinois. You. Guy Germain. From where? Of St. Paul, Minnesota. You. I'm Jesse Hall from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Who are you? Julie Gaffney from Bangor, Maine. Luis Mendoza, Miami, Florida. Greg Goldberg, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Les Averman, Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Fulton Reed, Stillwater, Minnesota. That's right. Russ Tyler, South Central Los Angeles. Charlie Conway, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Ken Rue, San Francisco, California. Connie Moreau, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Adam Banks, Dinah, Minnesota. Dwayne Robertson, Austin, Texas. Michelle McKay, Duluth, Minnesota. And I'm Gordon Bombay, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yeah! We're Team USA, gathered from all across America. And we're going to stick together. You know why? Because we are ducks, and ducks fly together. That's right, Jan. And just when you think they're about to break apart, ducks, ducks fly, fly together. together! And when the wind blows hard and the sky is black, ducks fly together! And when the roosters are crowing and the cows are spinning circles in the pasture, uh, OK, uh, the ducks, ducks fly together! together. And when everyone says it can't be done, ducks fly together. Now, new ducks and old ducks must unite under a new banner. And I thought perhaps something like this. However, during this movie, things start to get comical as the Bash brothers are formed and Dwayne Robinson gets a strange two minutes for roping penalty. <laughs> In the third movie, the family theme is still present, especially when Hans dies and the team holds a funeral with Bombay present.
every time you touched the ice. Remember, it was Hans that taught us to fly. However, once again, this is clouded over by comedy, though much more so in this one. With a ton of pranks between the two school teams, and then Dean Porton's famous strip tease penalty. I didn't do it! That's a dime! Come on! Come on! Alright, Brad, if you want to see a penalty, I'll show you a real penalty! Get out of my face, man! Let's give me a break! That's a dime! What are you talking about? Oh, please! starts out more serious and gradually gets more fun and calm, but still maintains good family sports job. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie.